I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the pawpaw. Pawpaw, Asimina triloba, is a small deciduous tree or large shrub. It's in the custard apple or the ananasi family, and the genus Asimina is the only member not combined to the tropics. Other names include false banana, custard apple, poor man's banana, and Hoosier banana, just to name a few. It typically grows from 20 to 40 feet tall and exhibits clonal growth, often forming thickets or small colonies. It is planted for fruit production. In fact, there are 45 different cultivars of pawpaw that have been selected for their fruit. The fruit is also an important wildlife food. Pawpaw is native to the eastern to midwestern United States from New York to Florida and west to Texas. It's usually found on the lower slopes and ravines along streams and floodplains. It grows best in deep, rich, moist soil. It's classified as shade tolerant in the forested setting. It can also grow well in full sun, but growth can be more dense than in the shade. Pawpaw is deciduous with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are simple in form, meaning one blade per leaf. They're oblong to obovate in shape and typically between 5 to 12 inches long. The leaves have entire or smooth leaf margins and they're green above and green below. They seem to droop from the branches, giving the tree a wilted look. The leaves give off a distinctive green pepper odor when crushed. In the fall, color is yellow and sometimes very showy. Pawpaw has a distinctive terminal bud. That's the bud at the very tip of the branch. It's kind of a purplish brown color and it's fuzzy. It looks like it's furry, flattened and often curved about one fourth to half an inch long. It kind of reminds you of the antenna of a moth. Pawpaw is monoecious, meaning trees have both male and female flowers. The flowers are purplish brown with kind of a broad bell shape. Each flower has six petals. The flowers have a less than pleasant perfume and they bloom slightly before the leaves emerge and the flowers are pollinated by flies and sap beetles. The fruit is a unique looking berry that resembles a short fat banana. This edible fleshy fruit is typically two and a half to four inches long and green. As the fruit ripens in the fall between August and October, it turns yellowish to brown. The ripe fruit has a yellowish to orange pulp that resembles custard and tastes much like a mix of banana, mango, and pineapple. The fruit contains several seeds that are, that are dispersed by gravity or wildlife. Pawpaw fruit is eaten by a variety of birds and mammals, including raccoons, gray fox, possum, squirrel, and black bear. Beavers consume the bark and white-tailed deer often browse pawpaw. It also attracts the beautiful zebra swallowtail butterfly whose larvae feed on the leaves, giving added incentive for wildlife lovers to obtain this tree. The bark is smooth and gray to light brown with wart-like lenticels. The wood is light, soft, coarse-grained, and weak, and it's not of economic importance. The fruit, on the other hand, is valued for human consumption. Pawpaw is planted for fruit production and there are at least 45 cultivars that have been selected based on their fruit. It is an excellent source of vitamins A and C and high in unsaturated fat, proteins, and carbohydrates. The fruits can be eaten raw, cooked, in puddings or breads, or used to make ice cream, just to name a few. Kentucky State University has the only full-time pawpaw research program in the world as part of the KSU land grant program. Pawpaw research efforts are directed at improving propagation methods, developing orchard management recommendations, conducting regional variety trials, understanding fruit ripening and storage techniques, and germ plasm collection and characterization of genetic diversity. Since 1994, KSU has served as the USDA National Clonal Germplasm Repository or gene bank for Asimina species. There are over 2,000 accessions or trees from 17 states that are planted on 12 acres at the KSU farm. The national champion pawpaw is located in Montgomery, Maryland. It is 37 inches in circumference, 59 feet tall, with a 34 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion pawpaw is in Madison County. It's 44 inches in circumference, 42 feet tall, with a 20 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out the American Forest Champion Tree National Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about pawpaw. 
The first reference to Papa came in writings of Hernando de Soto's expedition to the Mississippi Valley in 1541. The fruit was used to feed de Soto's conquistadors. The fruit was a favorite of Native Americans, and several groups cultivated the tree for the fruit. The fruit was eaten cooked or dried. The inner bark was used to weave a fiber cloth, and the Cherokee made cordage by twisting the inner bark into rope and strong string. Early settlers used the fruit to make jellies. The scientific species name Triloba refers to the flower's three-lobed calices and the doubly three-lobed corollas. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the wonderful pawpaw.